Hi, my name is Emily Shaw, Miss New Jersey USA 2014. You're watching Showbiz India, bringing you entertainment with style. Welcome to Showbiz Thank India you. once again. Thank you, you look stunning as always. Thank you. When you won Miss New Jersey, take me back to that moment. How did you feel? Going into the competition, I really did not think I was going to win. It was my first Miss competition. I had always done teen, and I was prepped as a teen how to be younger, how to be more fun, bubbly, and Miss is a lot more sexier. Yeah, it's fun, and yeah, you're outgoing, but it's a lot more sex appeal and a lot more of political questions and whatnot. So to prepare for that, I really didn't think I had it in me to compete, and I really decided the week before the competition that, okay, I'm gonna do this, why not? Why, why should I quit now? And so I competed, and my parents were against it. They said, no, don't do it because you're too young. We don't want you to get you know, emotionally upset if you don't win. I said, no, I can handle it, I can do this. If I, don't, if I place top 15, I'm okay with that. I placed top 15, then I placed top five, and I said, okay, maybe I actually have a shot at this. I was down to the final two, and they had called my name, and I, I mean, I, my mind went blank, but they asked me, they said, what's the first thing you're thinking of right now? And me being the person who always thinks of the next step, I said, I can't wait to bring home the crown for, from New, Miss USA and make New Jersey proud. Wow, so, what a wonderful thing to say. So it was the first thing. Usually people are, you know, people say, can't we eat pizza or thank you mom and dad, but that was the first thing that came to my head. So now here we are getting ready for Miss USA. So hopefully I can keep my word. And the time has come. It's almost here. Miss USA is tomorrow. How are you feeling right now? I'm anxious. I'm ready to compete. I have prepared myself as much as I can. I have done everything in my community. I have gotten so ready for this moment and, and I'm ready to compete. I'm ready to have that job as Miss USA. I'm just excited. New Jersey has never won and neither has an Indian American. So I'm trying to break history here. <laughs> and you sound so ready and we wish you all the very Thank best. You. <laughs> now tell me, what does go into preparation? for not only the Miss New Jersey, but now the Miss USA. What was different about it? There's so much of preparation that people, I guess they don't realize how much of a mental preparation it is. Um, yes, there is a physical aspect. You are on television in a bikini, on international television. Um, so that is a lot of pressure, but it's you're there for two weeks and you're really bonding with the girls and getting to know each other. And for girls to be around 51 or 50 other girls for two weeks is a lot. And they're pageant girls and you have to be on your game every single moment because as Miss USA, that is your job. You are representing the United States and you have to be on your game. So it's a lot of mental preparation to get ready for that. Um, besides obviously the gym and the fitness, I am preparing with interview and communication skills and top five questions and how to really handle the media and the press, especially being from New Jersey. We have a lot of controversial issues in our state and so how to approach those issues. So it's almost an educational process. It really is, yeah. You learn so much about yourself and, and what you're capable of. Tell me about your first press meet as Miss New Jersey USA. How did you feel at that moment? That was such, at that point, it, I mean, it was only a couple of days after I was crowned. It didn't even hit me yet. I didn't realize I was Miss New Jersey. I, it just, nothing sunk in yet. So I was, I almost, I don't know how to explain the feeling. You almost feel numb when you're doing interviews and you're at appearances. And it took a long time for it to actually sink in and say, yeah, I'm Miss New Jersey USA. And you know, it's a great honor. And I get to go to Miss USA, one of the most prestigious pageants in the world. So. Um, once you realize that, you, you realize how, what a humbling honor it is and how important it is to stay down to earth and, and to really be able to connect to people because that's what people want. They want a humanitarian. They want to see somebody who they can connect to and that's what being Miss USA is about. And now speaking of good work, as a beauty queen, you also give back to the community and you're involved with a lot of charities. Tell me some of the charities that are close to your heart. Ever since the age of about 14 years old, I committed myself to the Alicia Rose Victorious Foundation, which really helps teens and young adults who are in pediatric hospitals kind of come out of their hospital environment and feel a little bit more comfortable while they're being treated. So I really work very, very closely with this foundation. And we always go to different hospitals and, and um, teen lounges that they set up with all these Wii's and iPads and, you know, things that teenagers may feel a little bit more comfortable in. And, um, Actually, two weekends ago, I helped all these girls. I did their hair and makeup and helped them get ready for their prom that the hospital held so that way 
teens couldn't can go to prom while they're being treated. That's so it was lovely. amazing. It was so amazing. They had a circus theme and all these different circus acts and the fire breathers and the popcorn stands and the little cotton candy stands. It was actually better than my prom, but <laughs> wow, well, it that was sounds wonderful. It is. It's a it's a great. But it, besides that one. I do a lot of different charity events. I mean, I've, I've done fashion shows and I have done photo shoots and I've done a lot of promotional things just to um, get the word out there about charity, of, you know, charity organizations. So. Now let's talk about the glamour side of being a beauty queen. What are some of your favorite memories so far when you met someone that you've only dreamt of meeting? Oh, um, there's been a lot of people that I, see on social media, especially in the pageant industry, that I have been dying to meet makeup artists, um, you know, directors, hairstylists, clothing designers. So I've gotten to meet a lot of people. I think one of the most memorable appearances, I would have to say, was doing the Super Bowl. It was in my home state, luckily. I was representing that year, so this year. So um, it was awesome. What they did, they had a media day, and so they invited me to media day and I got to record a little segment saying, hi everyone, welcome to my state, the state of New Jersey. I'm Miss New Jersey USA, I'm Lee Shaw, enjoy the game. And they played it on the first quarter of the game. So a lot of people, sometimes I'll be walking in, on the street or going to a restaurant, some people say, I recognize you, and it's in a totally different state. And I'm like, did you watch the Super Bowl? Like, yeah, was that you? I said, yeah, that was me. <laughs> so. Um, that's, a, that's a really cool experience, but that was probably one of my most memorable. Aside from charity work and of course appearances, you've also been on a few movie sets. I have. So tell me about I that. I have. I love my job. I am actually a personal assistant to a stunt director and right after graduating high school I applied for a job on Captain America and luckily I got that. Um, so I was working with second unit which is the stunt team. I had such an amazing time. I had, I can't even tell you the the excitement I had to go on set every day and just blow things up and then go back to normal reality. So it was, it was so much fun. Um, as I was preparing to go into college actually at a university in LA, I got a job offer to work on Jersey Boys with Clint Eastwood. Wow. So I told my parents, I said, guys, look, it's Clint Eastwood or it's college. Like, what do I do? And they said, well, you know, this opportunity is never going to come back. So college will always be there. And maybe you can start college right after. That's fine. Do the second semester. So I said, okay, that's a great idea. So I worked on Jersey Boys right after that. Then the Miss New Jersey USA pageant was coming up. And I said, and actually we were shooting Jersey Boys in New Jersey, and I said, okay, now again, like I told you, I was kind of debating, and the week before I decided, and actually three days before the pageant, I got my gown. That's how last minute it was. So after shooting Jersey Boys, I said, why not? I was shooting Jersey Boys, let me try out for Miss New Jersey USA. And I did that, and I had one, so I said, okay, now what do I do about school? And my parents said, again, college will always be there, have your year to reign, because you will, I can never do this again. I can never go to any other state and try Miss California or Miss Florida or whatever and go to Miss USA. This is my only chance. So I said, okay, that's a good idea. I will fully reign my reign. After that, I got a job on a movie called Run All Night with Liam Neeson and Ed Harris, again, working with second unit stunts. So that was pretty cool. That was shot in New York. And then I took a little bit of break from the film sets and I was working really hard as Miss New Jersey USA, having an appearance every day, even two to three appearances a day. I was working like crazy and um, kind of preparing myself for Miss USA prep a little bit. And then in March, I actually got called from the stunt director who I worked with on Captain America. And I was supposed to work with him on Fast and Furious and because I had won Miss New Jersey, I told him, you know, I can't commit to you fully so I'm going to have to back out of this one. So he called me and he said, you know, my, my assistant right now has to leave. Will you be willing to work for me for two months? And I said, this is perfect. This is right before my Miss USA prep. Let me do this. Let me take a break from Miss New Jersey USA. If anything, I can come home on the weekends, do appearances. And that's what I actually did. I worked Monday through Friday, would take a flight, come back home, do appearances Saturday, Sunday, and go back and work. So for the whole month of March, I worked on Fast and Furious 7 in Atlanta. And then we went to another picture called Monster Trucks. It was a Paramount picture, which was a $125 million project. That was shot in Vancouver. So flight was a little bit longer to come back home on the weekends for appearances, but I did it. And I did that for the month of April. And then now I'm back and I've Here been doing are. Miss USA prep, so. <laughs> Wow, well, well, you're beautiful, busy young Thank girl. Thank you, yes, very, very busy. I, I absolutely love my job though. You know, I, I love being in the entertainment and industry and, and actually not just being an intern, actually having a job and getting a paycheck and being able to pay my bills is that, you know? It's, a, it's just 
it's a, it's a great experience into adulthood. So I can just imagine. So eventually, I believe, um, then am I safe to presume that eventually you would like to be in the entertainment industry? Of course, yes. The reason why I have done all this work behind the camera is to learn what it's like behind the camera. So that way when I hopefully go in front of the camera, I know what I'm doing. But my main goal is to be an, act, an actress and predominantly I would love to do action films. That's like my biggest dream. So I would love to be the next Bond girl or the next Agent Salt or something like that. A lot of people may or may not know, but I happen to know Emily's father who's very well established in the industry, Bollywood and now Hollywood. Yeah, now so Hollywood. So maybe one day he could put up a film for you. I know, that's why I'm like, <laughs> right, the next born for the female. Hello, do something. But yeah, you know, my dad has been working mostly into in Bollywood and now entering Hollywood. So we're kind of entering Hollywood together as a team. <laughs> oh, what a fantastic journey together. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's great. It's really great. And your great. beautiful mother is always there, the she wind beneath is, your wings. She is. Um, she, it's so funny because I don't look like her. I mean, she's completely pale skin with green eyes and reddish brown hair and so she'll be holding my crown case behind me and all my stuff and I'll be walking in front and you know kind of going to my appearance and I always get picked up by guys and my my mom is a she's the funniest thing about it. she's like excuse me I'm her mother please don't do that in front of me <laughs> it's so funny to see I'm like yeah I'm sorry mom but sorry but yeah <laughs> what she's will a great support when he's cute, though? I, you know what she did that to me a couple times it's like mom you totally ruined my game right now, but it's okay. I forgive her. It was okay. I, I can't. I can't um, have public display of affection anyways with my banner on. So it's okay. It works out. Well, let me tell you. I'm sure the entire state of New Jersey, along with all of the Indians, all of the world, we're rooting for you. Thank you so much. And I, I cannot express my gratitude to the Indian community. A lot of people thought, of, of, first and foremost, that was Nina Duvalari, who's Miss America, and she's been doing a great job as Miss America. But now it's time to do Miss USA, and the Indian community is behind me 110%. So I am so very great. Even like the whole Asian, South Asian community is really behind me. I'm very, very grateful for them. So you can go to Baton Rouge tomorrow and support her by buying tickets for Miss USA. Yep, right on Ticketmaster.com. And if not, of course, we can all support her by watching at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, yep, on, on NBC. NBC. So any final words right before the pageant, Emily? Let's go New Jersey. Let's go India, girls. Let's go Desi. Let's go everything. Let's do this. It's game on. Absolutely. I can't tell you how excited I am for you. Thank you. And I'm there wishing well for <laughs> you, and, you and waving the flag of New Jersey and India. Yes, that's right. That's right. We have to get, I'm going to have to try to make a flag with New Jersey in the middle and then India and the USA flag and try to, that's a good idea. Thank you for that idea. I'll tell my family to get on that. <laughs> Thanks, Emily, and Thank we'll you. see you soon, hopefully, as Miss USA. That's right, and one day as Miss Universe. Yes, there you <laughs> go.